Hey guys, it's Brian here, and welcome back to the review for the Horror Man Slashback Challenge. And the theme that Joel the Horror Man is set for this week is titled Unrestricted Slashers, which basically means slasher films that don't have the R rating. So it can be a PG-13 slasher film or a non-rated slasher film. Um, I was kind of worried at first. I thought he meant PG-13 slasher films, and I really don't like PG-13 slasher films. Like other horror films, I'm okay with the ghost ones, but with my slasher films, I prefer to be as, as gory as possible. And uh, usually you don't get that with the PG-13 ones. So um, the film I chose to review this week is You Might Be the Killer. Now this film originally aired on uh, the Sci-Fi Network back in 2018 before going uh, straight to Blu-ray. Now this film is unrated. Um, I don't know um, if this is the original TV version or this is like a gorier home video version because there are some gory kills in this one. There isn't any nudity but there is decent enough gory kills so this film might be on the cusp. I don't think they've actually submitted this one to the MPAA because sometimes a film doesn't get submitted because they don't think it'll be passed with an R rating and other times they just don't bother because it's an old film that be rated G. Obviously this film wouldn't be rated G. Um, now this film stars Allison Hunnigan and uh, Fran Kranz. Now, Allison uh, Hannigan, I said to you with some ways, she's from Buffy, she played Willow. And uh, Fran Kranz, he's obviously most famous for being in um, Cabin in the Woods. Now, this film is kind of a horror comedy, and this one is a parody of the Friday 13th films. Um, Fran Kranz is the main character in this movie. He plays the head counselor at this camp. Uh, he's just having these blackouts, and most at this point when the film starts, most of the other camp counselors are already dead. So he calls his best buddy, uh, played by Allison Hannigan, and she works at a comic book shop. And they're going through what's going on, and then she suggests that he might be the killer, hence the title of the film. Now, this is a really funny film. It, it is one of my favorite of the uh, slasher parodies um, that have come out in the, in the last little bit. Um, this film even has a body count gag where whenever time someone dies a number pops up on the screen saying the number which has died uh, the person has died and this film also has a weird um, non-linear structure as well where something is like a flashback and then it flashes forward again to the present and back to the back again so sometimes you see the the murders happen from different angles and um, and also what's another gag with it as well as the numbers will drop as it flashes back in the story um, I really did enjoy this one a lot. It, it is pretty funny. Um, I wish I could get more into it. I don't want to spoil this movie. Like, I didn't want to even talk about the main character being possibly the killer, but it's in the title, so you can't really get away from that. And it is a catchy title, you might be the killer. Um, I really do enjoy this movie a lot, and I would recommend this one. But before I go, I'd like to thank everybody for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting my channel. Um, I will be doing... A contest at some point it's just a matter of, of money at this point I got some financial stuff coming up soon which is really sucking because I won't be able to buy as many movies I got an update coming up as well but it's gonna be things I bought in over the summer all right guys that's it thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later